Hello, I'm Elizabeth Webb, your yoga lifestyle coach. Let's come down onto the ground and lie on our back for a yoga episode that works the entire body. We'll begin with our bridge pose. In the bridge pose, we're able to bring our arms at our side, palms face each other, abdominal muscles nice and strong and engaged as we lift our hips, take a deep breath in, and be aware of lengthening through the knees. Use your abdominal strength to press the knees away from you. Exhale as you're coming down. And inhale as you would come up. Use your breath. Internalize your awareness. Concentrate on your own breathing. Each time you take a very large, long, deep breath in, come up. And each time that you are exhaling, you would go down. Allow me to be your guide, but let your breath be what's moving you through the poses. Listening to your breath. And then slowly take your time and let's come up to sitting. Whether you're rolling to the side, using your arms to come up, and then from a sitting posture, we're going to come in and maybe tuck our toes under. can be on our hands and knees. And here we could lean forward a little bit as necessary, clasping our hands behind us. And maybe gently resting the head on the ground so we can have a little stability and lifting the arms up only as high as possible, squeezing the shoulder blades together. And then we can release. Come back to a comfortable position, maybe sitting with your legs out in front of you. And then we'll have one leg bent, the other leg straight. And placing the back of the hand on the inside of that straight leg to help turn the torso towards the bent knee. That other arm is pressing that bent knee down into the ground, lengthening through the spine, trying to bend right at the hip hinge. And let's go ahead and switch sides. And... As we switch sides, let's press the other bent knee down and extend through the long leg, back of the hand on that inside of that leg, really helping the abdominal muscles be nice and strong, twisting at the waist, lining up the sternum with the bent knee, lengthening, reaching towards that long leg, folding, breathing, aware of any sensations, nice big inhalation, come all the way back up, and then from here, let's stand up, and here we can stand nice and tall, if necessary, we can use the back of a wall, <laughs> let's make sure you can see me, stay on your feet, I just want it to be within the camera. But it is a different dynamic in your hips if you are on your knees. Otherwise, stay standing and lengthen through the torso, engaging the abdomen muscles, lifting the sternum. Reach your arms out to the side. Extend the fingertips away from you. Allow the shoulders to release. Mountain postures. Nice and strong and firm. And now still standing on your feet. 
Let's come with our legs nice and wide. And with our legs nice and wide, folding right at that hip hinge in our pyramid pose. We're bending over one leg. The legs aren't very wide. Comfortable stance. Really trying to press the sit bones back and extend through the chest. Bring the shoulders back and down. The abdominal strength lengthens the spine. The head and neck is in alignment with your spine. And let's switch sides. Changing legs. We can align our hips towards the front of the mat. And we can have that awareness of the abdominal muscles creating that length in the spine. And as we begin to fold forward, we feel what we're noticing, maybe in the hamstrings, maybe in one of the calf muscles, maybe in the low back, shoulders back and down, head is long, neck is reaching along with the spine. Inhale, coming up, standing nice and tall, lengthening the legs, coming into our pose. Our goddess pose allows the knees to be in alignment with the ankles and arms. Yes, good. Relax those shoulders. And ideally, elbows are in line with the shoulders but I'm representing something that helps release the shoulders. And then we can fold into a forward fold. And as we fold, see what your legs need to do. Do they need to bend a little bit so that you can reach for the ground? Are we able to lengthen and turn to one leg as we come into a lunge? And from our lunge pose, can we have that back leg nice and long and strong? Working our way up into our warrior pose. Ideally, the arms are straight up over head, but we need to have those shoulders relaxed, even as we come into our proud warrior. Lengthen through the fingertips so the shoulders stay relaxed. And then let's see if we can bounce up and balance in our warrior three pose. Nice. It doesn't matter if we stay balanced or not. It's our attempt to balance. And let's switch sides now, starting the lunge on that opposite leg. And from our lunge pose, nice tall lunge, we can come right into warrior one. And from warrior one, keep those shoulders relaxed. And then warrior two, we can come back down to the ground. And let's come into a full lunge pose. Let's get all the way down to the ground and come in to our full lunge pose. And then let's feel what it feels like to come up into warrior one from the ground, keeping the shoulders relaxed, extend the arms, reach, use those latissimi dorsi, the lats muscles to help extend the arms. Don't use the top of the shoulders. Bounce up into our warrior three. If possible, we can press our back foot into something to help stabilize our balance or like I was reaching my fingertips forward and resting them for balance or jet our airplane arms and then releasing from that coming into our king dancer pose grabbing our ankle and extending reaching the other arm up and be aware of the breath be aware of kicking that back foot into your hand and notice the 
thigh stretch. And let's release doing that on the other side. And then here, let's kick that back foot into the hand and release or not. See if you can keep staying in the pose, breathing, readjusting anytime you need to. Aware of the pose, aware of the front body opening, feeling all the sensations. And now let's release. And as we come into a nice triangle pose, legs nicely opened and doing everything we can to keep those shoulders released. So instead of bringing that arm all the way straight up, point it backwards, and then revolve our triangle as we really <laughs> focus on the release of the shoulders, constant release of the shoulders. And let's pivot our feet all the way around for that triangle pose on the other side, aware of our alignment. Notice where our hips are, abdominal muscles nice and strong, lengthening through the spine. Good. Nice elongation on both sides of the spine. Head and neck in alignment with the spine. And arms long and reaching. Legs are firm and grounded. The breath is full and complete and we revolve our triangle to the other side as we continue to breathe, feeling that strength in the abdomen, feeling how strong the belly is to create that twist as we breathe, as we're here, feeling that triangle revolving. Breathing deeply, release and come out. And let's make our way down to the ground. After any yoga practice, it is so vital to give your body permission to let go, relax, release, sink down onto the ground, open up into the corpse pose, forming three triangles, a triangle between the feet and a triangle between the hands, allowing the energy to flow up between the legs and allowing the energy to flow up into the underarm area and allowing your head and neck to be in whatever comfortable position is for you and letting go, letting go of our breath, Letting go of doing so we're not doing. The breath, the body breathes naturally all on its own as we relax and give way. And then we can bend our knees and roll to one side. And push ourselves up to sitting, finding a comfortable seat, and bringing the hands together in front of your chest, pressing the palms together, mm, bowing our head. Namaste. The light within me sees that same light within you. Shanti. Peace.